I'm Vice Admiral Dave Pekoski, and I'm the lead for the implementation of the Force Readiness Command. This is the first in a series of podcasts by me and others. Uh, in this podcast, I will talk about the mission, the vision, and the value of Forcecom. The mission, or what we do, directly supports our service motto of Semper Paratus. It's short, just a half dozen words, and simply is to provide ready forces to the operational commander. This is the first time the Coast Guard will have a dedicated command with sole responsibility for readiness across the entire service. The vision, or what we want to be, is simply the best provider of mission-ready maritime safety, security, and stewardship capabilities to meet the threats and challenges of the 21st century. Now this mission and this vision are both tall orders. They're both very achievable and they're mandatory for our Coast Guard. What forces comprise ForceCom? ForceCom is responsible for readiness of the total force. ForceCom will have operational and administrative control of all major cutters, all long-range aircraft, all deployable specialized forces that are part of the Deployable Operations Group. Um, it will have operational and administrative control of these units until they're deployed, and then operational control shifts to the operational commander. ForceCom will have operational control all the time of all of our training centers in both communications area master stations. When will we implement ForceCom? In less than a year from now, beginning in the summer of 2009. Let me talk about the value of ForceCom for just a minute or two. And the value is really in two dimensions. It's in, in improved force allocation and improved force readiness. In terms of force allocation, because ForceCom is a national command, it has a national perspective in the allocation of forces. So when a mission requirement is provided, ForceCom will draw forces from across the entire service. This should result in better surge capability with less impact on routine operations. And I'm very confident that that will happen because the Deployable Operations Group does just that now for the Deployable Specialized Forces. Let me give you a Deployable Operations Group example. I'm here at Maritime Safety and Security Team San Francisco. The Deployable Operations Group has validated the concept of nationwide force allocation for Deployable Specialized Forces for nearly a year. We've been able to conduct major surge operations across our country while routine missions were being performed. Uh, and this is a result of the DOG's ability to take that national perspective on force allocation. We will have a better equipped force with better guidance on how to conduct the mission. An example would, would be, in the future, when ForceCom is stood up, when you receive equipment, that equipment will come with standardized training and maintenance on its use. That, that standardized training and maintenance will not occur after the equipment arrives at your unit. Finally, ForceCom will provide an improved ability to assess our readiness across the entire Coast Guard. This comes with standardization. It also comes with uniform tactics, techniques, and procedures. As an example, we envision that when Forces Command is stood up, you will have one standardization team visit with a Ready for Operations package for your unit that covers both operations and administration. In conclusion, ForceCom represents a very high return on investment for our service. It assures our future readiness and is a major force in our modernization efforts. Thank you.